Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of May. So this is for Taurus, May. So let's just wait and get one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus for the month of May. What do we have for Taurus? For at any time in the month of May. May. Happy birthday. To my lovely bulls. tied up all tied up so you must be stuck you're stuck you uh, you are you're stuck you're in a situation where you probably are looking for somebody to come to the rescue right you're looking for somebody to break you free you're not really asking for help you could ask for help but you're not you're waiting it's like you're waiting for somebody to come break you free right you're waiting. You're waiting for somebody to come to the rescue. Your knight in shining armor. If you are a masculine, this is a woman, okay? If you are a masculine, you may be dealing with a woman who is trapped. She's trapped. She's waiting for you. She's waiting for you. She's waiting for you to come get her. She's waiting for you to come to the rescue, right? She's she's waiting. She's not saying anything. She She's waiting for her knight in shining armor, okay? Um, there's a level of conflict here and choice because this equals five. Five's about choices. It's your choice. It's like you're, you're choosing to not say anything, right? Waiting for a change. Looking all pretty and sweet. Just waiting. There's romance in the air with the, these roses. There is going to be a change. A message is coming. Okay, a message is coming. A romantic interest is coming to the rescue. Okay, if you are the masculine, you are going to be helping somebody break free from a situation. You are, they, This person that you are helping to break free is going to consider you their savior. So, yeah, what do we got here for May? Six of Wands. This is quite a performance. There's been some sort of per performance. Now there's some sort of cheers, public recognition, being recognized for your hard work, for, for the uh, success that you have gained. So this is some sort of public recognition. You're going to be recognized. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's what this is. Congratulations. Yay, yay, yay. That's what they're saying. They're like, yay, congratulations. This is a victory. You did it. You did it. You did something. I don't know what you did. This is May. Quite the performer. You got a performer here. The moon. The moon. All is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. Now this is an actress. We have an actress here. Hmm. All is not as it seems. Something is below the surface. It's about to pop up. You don't see it yet. Something is below the surface that is about to pop up. You've been focusing on your act or your performance or your show. This is below the surface. Oh my God, these are both ruled by the shadow. So be, these are both, so there's something going, there's definitely something that is hidden here. 
something isn't being shown as it is. There's there's something that is is not as it seems. That's for damn sure. You may think you have won, but there's there's more to it. There's more to this situation now. Oh my God. You need to really be careful. You need to be careful. I think there's some deception. There's somebody doing something behind your back. There is somebody that is doing something behind your back. They are deceiving you behind your back. It could be a Pisces or a Capricorn. Or both. This person is very shady. You are dealing with a very shady individual. Oh boy. The chariot. Now, the chariot is a cancer. Now, this is moving very fast in a new direction towards victory and success. And this is victory as well. So you're moving very fast towards victory and success. There's something below the surface that you don't see. Somebody is hiding something. They're hiding something from you. You're dealing with some opposition. You got, I feel like you, Taurus, you got somebody here that has some tricks up their sleeve. You don't see it. You're focusing on your show. Uh, I'll, I'll, look at these lights. They're shining on you. The focus is on you. And then you got somebody behind you. You may have a few people behind you. So you have some people that are, they may be working behind your back or they're doing something behind your back. But this is moving. Mastering emotions. Moving very fast. Very, very, very fast. Something is headed towards you. Or very, very, very fast by the looks of things. You're going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted by something that probably isn't all that it seems. Okay? This person isn't who they say they are. They're not. They may look good. They may look really good. They may be very attractive to you, but there's something that you need to be careful. You definitely need to be careful. Oh my God. The lovers reversed. Now we got all majors here except for one. So the universe is doing something here. There's hidden forces. The universe is causing something. They're causing some sort of movement. They're causing some sort of um, well, probably it looks pretty chaotic to me. They're gonna be they're they're gonna you're gonna see something that you did not expect. Put it that way. The lovers reversed is is the end of a contract. Could be an argument, conflict, um, disconnection, detachment, a separation. There's a separation here. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces. It could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or a Capricorn or a Gemini. But there's a separation here. This is a separation. All is not as it seems. It's just a performance. Somebody's putting on a hell of a performance here. There's, there's, there, they may be in a relationship where there's really no love connection there. There's no attraction it's all a lie. This is deception. Maybe you don't see it. You're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your show. You're focusing on something. This is victory after sorrow. You're shining. Oh, you're shining bright, right? You're shining bright. So you're shining very brightly, moving in a new direction, mastering your emotions. But you got somebody that is below you or beneath you or behind you that is, um, there's some sort of addictions here. This person may have addictions. They're not showing who they really are. Mm, they may be, somebody may, mm, for, they're in some sort of commitment. They're pretending to be happy. We have somebody here that is pretending to be in a happy commitment. 
This person is pretending to be in a happy, happy, happy commitment. They're pretending that everything is good and that, that, that they're so, 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 so happy. And it's, they're not. It's a big fat lie. It's a big fat lie. But you don't care. You don't care because you're not focused on that anymore. You, you're, you've won. You've already won. You've won. You've won. This is behind you now. So I think that you ha you've made you've made some sort of choice to focus on your f your future. You've already been through this war. You've already been through this the trial. You've already passed the test. You've you've already completed. Okay, you've completed this uh, test performance. It's done. It's over. It's over. You're good. Now you're moving in a new direction. But you're going to be tempted. You are going to be tempted by something. Because this is temptation. There could be an obsession here. Somebody could be obsessed with you. And you don't even know it. Hmm. King of Wands reversed. Mm, King of Wands reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In reverse, this is an egotistical individual. We have somebody here that is very egotistical. Um, very prideful. Has a lot of pride. Um, hasn't been able to take any action because of their pride, because of their ego. This person has been tempted. They've been hiding their feelings. Unreasonable, self-centered. Seven of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that um, is feeling powerless. They're feeling powerless. Because it feels like they, they want to control you. Because they got the puppet strings here. But they've lost control. They've lost control and they want control. Maybe you're dealing with a narcissist. You may have a narcissist that wants to keep control over you. You're shining. They want to keep you tied up, right? They want to keep you stuck. You you may be dealing, you may have somebody that um, pops up, okay? This person all of a sudden pops up out of nowhere after you have... Uh, past, you know, you've passed, you've, you've, uh, you've come to the end. Okay. You're no longer focused on them. You've turned your back on them. You're doing good. You're shining bright. All eyes are on you. You're be getting some sort of recognition. You're looking really good. And it looks like you're moving in a new direction. And this person is wanting to keep the strings wanting to keep you attached so i feel i feel like you got somebody here that is not wanting to separate not wanting you to go your own way not wanting you to move not wanting you to do something this person doesn't want you to give up so they're going to this is like a hoovering attempt or something like that this person may come to you and tell you they want to be in a commitment but it's a lie it's a lie Okay, that, you know, they want to be in a happy commitment with you. They want to be committed to you. You know, they want to get married to you or something like that. But it's not true. It's not true. I'm sorry, it's not. Um, feeling overwhelmed. We do have somebody here that is definitely feeling overwhelmed because they've lost their power. And they want to keep that power over you. So I feel like you are going to have somebody that pops up out of nowhere in May. And makes an attempt to keep you tied. To, you can see the puppet strings here. They, to keep you tied. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna make a an attempt to keep you tied to them. They don't want you to cut those strings. They don't. This is somebody that is toxic. This is somebody that is unhealthy, that wants control, likes control, and does not like to give up control. You think about Satan. You think about the devil. 
you know, they will present themselves to be somebody they really, the shadow, they really, 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 really are not. And you have two shadow cards right together and they came out together and you may not see it. You're, you're focusing on everything, but, and all of a sudden they pop, they pop up out of nowhere. This is a false contract, by the way. This person, there's some sort of disconnection here. There's disharmony. It's like you don't really get along with this person. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. It may look good. It may feel good. But you know it's not for you. I feel as though you are going to need to... Uh, this is a setback. It is a setback. And I feel like this person, is because they have lost control, they're going to try to regain control over you. They're going to try to keep you trapped. Oh boy. Who, what the hell? Four of Pentacles reverse. Now this is opening up and sharing. Letting go of fear. Ready to give. This per somebody is ready to give. They're ready to open up. They're ready to uh move forward. There's gonna be some forward movement. And I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. I don't know if it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. There's definitely a deep desire to uh keep you on the hook put it that way um this is opening up sharing going to give two of pen because they don't want because they don't want to have a loss they realize that they're it's going to be a complete loss if they don't Knight of Cups reverse. This is somebody that that is going to come in to sweep you off your feet. They're going to romance you. They may buy you flowers. They're going to tell you everything that you want to hear. This is this is Prince Charming in Shrek. Okay, we talk about him every once in a while. Um, who may look like Prince Charming, but he isn't. Okay, he talks the talk, but he doesn't walk the walk. He'll trip over himself. He'll say all the right things. He will bring you flowers. Maybe even write you letters. See the letter right there? Say everything that you want to hear. But um, and none of it is real. And none, none, of it, none of it is genuine. And he really doesn't have any type of emotional support to offer. But he doesn't want to lose you. So he is going to uh, whine you and dine you and woo you. Uh, to keep you on the hook. So I do apologize to give you this message. But I think that you are going to have to make a decision as to... Uh, this is somebody from the past, okay? Because we got the two of wands. This is the past or the future. Do you have an opportunity to focus on the future or go back to the past? What's it going to be? That's what you're, That's what's going to happen here. Some In the past, how many people do you know in the past? It may not be the last one. It could be somebody else. It could be anybody. This is, this is an opportunity. You're going to be making a choice. You have come so far. You have trained for this. You have excelled, okay? You're in a great position. Now this person wants you to, to, to keep ties on you, okay? We got ties here. They want to keep ties on you. So they're going to do something to keep you to keep you tied to them. Now that you've turned your back and you're going to be forced to make a decision. Do you want to do you want to go back to that past where there was disharmony, where there was a disconnection, where uh, there was lies where there was deception, okay, uh, where this person uh, didn't put in effort, or with this person that didn't put in effort, or do you want to focus on the future? I think there's an opportunity for you to travel. There's an opportunity the world here. There's an opportunity for you to, for you to travel, and that's probably what you're doing. You're probably getting ready to travel. You're planning to travel. You're planning to go places, right? So I feel like this person knows that they know that, and that's why they're in such a hurry. And they are in a hurry. They are in a hurry. They're in a hurry to um, stop you, okay? To stop you from going. To stop you from leaving. To stop you from going somewhere. They know. They know that you are on the verge of leaving them behind for good. So I feel like you are going to be making a choice.
and I feel like it's leaving the past behind. I think it's it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be a difficult choice because this person is going to say all the right things. But this person is a liar. What they say is not what they mean. You may also be opening up to somebody new. And that could be why this person is uh, suddenly in a hurry. They're suddenly in a hurry to um, commit to you or uh, something like that. Make you happy. I think we have a person that is <laughs> narcissist material, okay? That doesn't want to lose their supply. And they are going to take swift action to keep you on the hook. And I know that I'm repeating myself. And I have to because this is going to look so good to you. This person is quite the charmer. I mean, as good as the devil himself. They will say anything that you want to hear. To keep you hooked. My advice is to protect yourself. Don't let this person steal your shine like they did before. Focus on the future and not the past. I like I said, I feel like there's somebody new as well. There is somebody new. You're gonna this because it's a choice. It's a choice. And if you think about the two of pentacles, one man's gain is another, or one man's loss, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Or one man's loss is another man's gain. And I think that's what this is. I think that we have uh, somebody from the past that you were a lover with in the past that is going to pop up out of nowhere. Because they see that you're moving on. There's been an injustice. Maybe they treated you unfairly. There's been lies. Dishonesty. And this person is not happy with the outcome. So I feel as though you are going to be making a decision that is not going to be easy. You're 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 living your best life, you know. You you've come a long way. And now you're going to be tempted by <laughs> Satan. Good luck. It's a karmic contract. Will you pass the test? Good luck. 